Hello guys and welcome. So in this video I'm going to be answering the question what is Kenner Bridge of Spirits? This video is aimed at people who know nothing about Kenner Bridge of Spirits and have always been curious. Hopefully it will serve as a good starter guide for you. Also as well as per the What Is series I'm going to link as many useful resources into the description box below including to the official website, to the Wikipedia page, to this trailer and so on. But before we continue a very quick message from Past Mifri. Thank you for watching the video so far remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe and ring the bell to help with the youtube algorithm now back to the video so ken of bridge of spirits is an upcoming action adventure game developed and published by ember lab it is scheduled for release in late 2020 for windows playstation 1 playstation 5 though it is going to be a timed console exclusive it means that it'll come to consoles first for a while and then it'll come to pc so, Kenner Bridge of Spirits is an action-adventure game played from a third-person perspective. The player controls Kenner, a young girl known as a spirit guide, and is tasked with collecting small spirit companion known as the Rot. The game utilizes the DualSense controller's um, haptic feedback for features such as Kenner's spirit bow. Uh, development uh, at Ember Lab is by a 14-person independent studio based in LA. Um, they were founded in 2009 by brothers Mike and Josh Greer, and the studio has worked on several animated commercials and branded game applications, and in 2016 released a viral short film based on The Legend of Zelda uh, Majora's Mask. The team felt that creating a video game was a natural next step, and the game utilizes Unreal Engine. So uh, when this was revealed during the PlayStation 5 event, um, it really, really stood out to me. Not just because it looks absolutely stunning. It looks beautiful beyond words. It's also because it just looks fun. Like, you see this sort of action combat third-person perspective. Her, you know, aiming with the bow, jumping around, and so on. Slowing down time, deflecting, parrying, and everything. It gives me um, a sense of... It reminds me, basically, of how fun um, Horizon Zero Dawn is. So, like... The sort of action combat is, to me, incredibly fun. It makes up for some of the best games there is, in my opinion, based on the hundreds and hundreds of games I've played over the years. So uh, that's why I'm incredibly excited about this game, because it looks like it's going to be fun. I think as long as the developer sticks that as the priority of make it fun, not only make it pretty, then uh, I think the game will do incredibly well. I really do. Because uh, there were some other trailers as well where you saw some, I don't want to say performance issues, but it looked like low frame rate or whatever, like in development issues, um, even for massive studios who have big budgets behind them, like the trailers they put out were not exactly pristine. But this is so pristine, it almost looks like a Pixar movie. So I hope that this is a representation of the final game. But, of course, any game in development is always subject to change. Um, so I hope they can live up to the expectation that this trailer now gives. So, and I am very, very much looking forward to this. Um, I know that for a lot of people, um, this was one of the biggest reveals for at the PlayStation 5 event. Even if it is from an indie studio. Like, um, it really raises the bar of what we should be, the quality we should be expecting on PlayStation 5. So I hope that they can deliver and um, it goes, the development goes very well. And I'm sure as well that if it does do well, that hopefully Ember Lab is going to become a renowned gaming studio. Like maybe they'll see just an explosion um, and uh, grow in size. So yeah, and then they'll have real massive budgets to do even more games. I would love to see, like, if this game does really well, like, I, I could see this game turning into a franchise as well. So, like, the, the trailer impressed me that much. <laughs> so I have a lot of hope and a lot of, um, you know, desire to see this game succeed because it looks absolutely stunning. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Thankfully, the little rot, the little, you know, uh, minions that are chasing you around in the game... They actually look cute. There's a lot of games who have tried to do the sort of minion thing, but ended up making the minions look flippin' creepy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But anyway, guys, what we're going to quickly do, uh, we're going to quickly visit the official website. We're going to see what's written on there. Link is in the description. And um, that'll be it for this video.
Okay, so here's the official website, emberlab.com, the official website. Um, you, If you click here, you'll get a link to the trailer that we just watched. So Kenna, a young spirit guide, travels to an abandoned village in search of the sacred mountain shrine. He struggles to uncover the secrets of this forgotten community hidden in an overgrown forest where wandering spirits are trapped. Rot. Uh, timid and elusive spirits scattered throughout the forest, they maintain balance by decomposing dead and rotting elements. So build your team. Find and collect Rot to gain powerful abilities, make discoveries and transform the environment. A forgotten village and a strange curse. Draw on the power on the spirit realm to restore this once majestic world. Hell yeah. I mean, we, we already saw it in the trailer where she sort of cures that tree and then like life is restored. I think that's, that's awesome. So spirits have become corrupt, trapped and unable to move on. Challenging Kenna at every turn. Kenna Bridge of Spirits is a story-driven action adventure set in a charming world rich with exploration and fast-paced combat. Players find and grow a team of tiny companions called the Raw, enhancing their abilities and creating new ways to manipulate the environment. So, yeah. Now, this is absolutely awesome. Like, I am really very much looking forward to this game. It definitely caught my eye uh, during the PlayStation 5 event. So much so that this is maybe only the, like the third video I, I am making about the PlayStation 5 event. Um, and it, it made itself way, way up the list in terms of priority of videos I just had to make. So, which is a big statement. is that They've made a very, very good impression as far as I'm concerned. So I have very high hopes for Ember Lab and this game. So, yeah, and hopefully I will get it day one on PlayStation 5. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch around the video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.